Hello there, everyone. Tonight, I was walking through one of my favorite stores, uh, which is called Ollie's. If you don't know what Ollie's is, it's one of these big discount stores. Uh, they're buyout stores, and they go through to retailers and buy out all their extra inventory, stuff they can't sell, and uh, they buy it for dirt cheap, so they sell it for dirt cheap. So I just love going to the store, because Ollie's uh, often has some really great deals on some great stuff. For instance, a while back, I went and bought the four-disc collector's edition of Blade Runner for six ninety nine. So that was a great deal, great movie. And uh, so th every once in a while you can find stuff, movies and games and books, and they have furniture and tools and just uh, everything. And you end up uh, finding legitimately good stuff and a whole bunch of really, really weird stuff. And you never know what you're going to get. So I just love going through this store. Um, so tonight I was there, and I happened to go through the toy aisles. Uh, a lot of toys there, and the toys, I forgot how amazing this aisle was and how crazy this uh, selection of toys can be at Ollie's. So I picked up a few choice uh, items here that uh, I want to show you. I'm going to open them up here and uh, actually see what's going on. But um, the first one I want to show you, uh, this whole display of weirdos. Weirdo. <laughs> how about that? Uh, this one is Davy. Uh, but there was a whole display of these, and uh, a few of them are on the back. Uh, we see Davy alongside uh, some other ones, and uh, these are all, uh, it looks like they're based on these illustrations here like this that remind me of sort of, uh, you know, 60s hot rod monster kind of kind of things going on there. So I just picked one out. There were a bunch, and all this stuff was dirt cheap. Uh, every item here was like a dollar, dollar fifty, something like that. So these are uh, next to nothing. Um, so yeah, this is especially especially interesting. I like the whole monster thing and the whole psycho look uh, to the monsters. But each one of these rides a skateboard, and I guess the little figures supposedly magnetically attaches to the skateboard. And uh, not only do we have that, but we get some cards. Oh boy, bonus includes five collector cards. So this is going to be quite a treat, I'm sure. So uh, let's let's open up old Davy here. Of course, it comes in this insanely difficult to open plastic packaging. I hate. So we're just going to masker the thing and hope we're not cutting into anything important as we try to uh, open this up. So I don't believe there's anything in this little bubble back here. No, nothing there. And so mix this up and. Uh, Good. Okay, now well, we got the cards. We'll save those till last. Here, let's open up our little guy. Now this was a little bit of a disappointment because you see he is sitting. All the rest of the figures appear to be standing or striking some sort of a, an interesting pose, and this one just kind of sitting. Oh, there we go. All right. Here's what we got. Got this little plastic guy that does not move at all, but he is kind of, kind of creepy, and weird-eyed, and sharp-toothed, and appears to have a whole lot of teeth on the side, but not so many in the front. Yeah, what can you do? He's been in a few, few brawls, but looking like that, hey, comes with the territory. But he's got the whole leather get-up going on. I'm not sure what's up with this crazy little biker hat going on with this little flippy thing. I don't know. But uh, here's the skateboard. Which uh, the wheels are rolly, so we can roll this guy around here a little bit. But weirdos, aren't they weird? And uh, so he's got a magnet on his butt. And yeah, he sticks. He sits on the little skateboard. Sticks pretty well. And I'd imagine, let's get old Blade Runner up here as our little skateboarding surface. And we'll just kind of. Yeah, ooh, ooh, look at him go. Yeah, well, that's about it. I guess. Uh, you know, you wheel them around. I'm not. I'm pretty sure there's not any sort of game to this. It's just sort of a figure. So yeah, pretty cool. It's made pretty well, and yeah, pretty holds up to you know kids chewing on them, throw them around and stuff. I imagine you'd probably lose the skateboard pretty quickly. But uh, yeah, so there's Davy. How about that? Little little bloodshot eyed there. I wonder what he's been doing. Hmm. Don't know. Let's get to the cards, and I'm sure these will be awesome. Yeah. Okay. See what we got here. Well, of course, we have Davy. 
Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. little original artwork there. A little blurry. A little weird. But it's Davy the Psycho Cyclist. He's nuts. And uh, then on the back we have a little story. And uh, a letter, another little uh, drawing. And I believe that's of another figure. There, that, That's not Davy. I don't think. Well, it looks like Davy, but he's playing basketball. So that's what he does when he's not psycho cycling. Basketball. Oh, and another one here with Davy. I guess the story continues with him. He's being chased by a train. He cycles on the train tracks, too. So that is a little psycho. That's, uh, that's a little weird. It looks like a little continuing story here of the antics of, of Davy. That's, uh, that's kind of weird. You know, here he's jumping, um, oh, <laughs> jumping into smokestacks. That's pretty psycho. And here... Again, he's messing with the train. I'm not sure. He, he messes with the train, goes cycling on the tracks, and he's hoping that, I guess, the train's going to crash. Um, no, this is Sooty Sam. I'm sorry. No, no, this is not Davey anymore. I thought we were still going on Davey. This is Sooty Sam. So Sooty Sam is uh, probably at odds with Davey because um, you know, he's chasing Davey down. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, here's another one with Davey. Uh, he's uh, jumping over the shark tank. So that's, that's pretty psycho as well. And, uh, you know, of course, little little tales and little stories on the back of here. And, uh, you know, that's kind of okay. Um, you know, it's kind of neat. So, yeah, I don't know. But, uh, you know, these are uh, this is number 27. So there are a whole bunch of these. I didn't see that many at the store. But uh, apparently they don't sell <laughs> quite so well because they're at Ollie's. But uh, so that's, uh, that's the weird O's. Um, I might pick up more. I don't know. Probably not. We'll see what happens. Um, moving right along, uh, a Star Wars. Um, these are fighter pods, and these are little figures, uh, you know, these little plastic or rubber figures that you see. And I'm looking at, like, Jabba the Hutt, and I think Luke Skywalker is uh, right there. I think this is Princess Leia. That's maybe a Boba Fett. I'm not quite sure. These are all really squat, weird renditions of the characters, and there's, there's old Jabba there. And uh, I guess you put him in this little miniature hamster ball, and somehow using these uh, strange pieces in here, uh, it's some sort of game. Um, so I'm not quite sure. I kind of like the little figures. I don't know uh, exactly what's going on. It's Series 3, you see. Um, so and there, there's a whole bunch of figures. And uh, from what I'm seeing here, you know, Jabba isn't even on here, nor the one that I think might possibly be Boba Fett. Uh, neither of those are listed here, so this is just a partial list of what you can get. Of course, I got this this whole top row of kind of clear figures that aren't painted at all. They're just molded out of clear plastic or rubber or whatever, but uh, we'll see. Um, so, yeah, again, this was dirt cheap, next to nothing, uh, which is why I go ahead and just spring for it, because I'm not out much, and I have a little boy, and... If Daddy doesn't want to play with it, I'll give it to him, and he'll he'll love he'll love any of this stuff. Um, but uh, let's take a look here. Here's some clips. <laughs> okay, I presume that you probably put this little little hamster ball into here somehow, and it does come with instructions. That's good. We can battle online. Uh, this website is up, actually. I, I did find it, uh, this uh, fighterpods.com, so somehow you can do this all online, too. And oh, Look at all that. I guess this is a full list of everybody, so that's kind of cool. There's, there's Jabba right there, and Darth Vader, everyone that you'd expect. Somehow we're into a third series of these, so I'm not sure how, uh, you know, who came before this. Um, oh wow, and there's even, I mean, look at these, these like fighters and all kinds of stuff, wow. I'm not sure how that fits into the whole, you know, pod thing. Um, kind of weird. Now, what did I do? Oh, here are the little, little figures. Let me get out Jabba first here, because that was kind of what caught my eye. And these are rubber, now that I'm feeling them. Nothing wrong with that. There's Jabba the Hutt. Ho, ho, ho. I'm little and red and have... No tail. <laughs> yes, his tail is cut off, or it's uh, underneath him, or something. Here, poor, poor Jabba. Well, that's what you got to do to get inside the pod, I guess. Um, there's this one, and again, this might be. This 
much almost Boba Fett. I don't know. I'm, I'm sort of now interested to see who this is according to the list. Um, no, it's Clone Commander Cody. Huh. Must be from one of the new movies that I haven't seen um, that I don't care about. Um, yeah, so we got him. Got a little cute Princess Leia, and you know that because it's a girl with the little buns in her hair. And so that's, uh, of course, nice. The last one, I think this is Luke. Is this Luke Skywalker? Yeah, yeah he's got a lightsaber. He's a handsome, heroic-looking looking man. So, yeah, little Luke. So that's cool. So I have the brother and sister, and I have Commander Cody, whoever that is, and Jabba the Hutt. So I kind of like that. And I guess you put them in this little ball somehow, and uh, you, you fling them around. Oh, there we go. So I guess... Uh, we put Jabba in there, and I'm not sure, uh, I mean, once you put them in the ball and you, you play this little game, uh, there are no instructions for the game. I guess we just battle online with these. What do I, what do, I do with this little device? I, there are holes in this. I don't know. I don't know. But these are little figures. So... I guess there's some sort of game, and if you're a kid, I guess you already know how to play these. Uh, I'm all grown up, so I don't. This knowledge just uh, totally went away. So I don't know. They're uh, they're neat, neat little figures. Um, definitely worth the dollar fifty that I paid for this whole pack. Um, but not much, you know. Being this big circular thing, I thought I was getting like maybe a little arena or something to, to fling these around in, and I got a lot of packaging and just a few a few little things. But that's all right because it cost me very little. Um, now, what's interesting about these, uh, the reason I bought this, uh, I wasn't going to buy it. I didn't see this until later in my journey in the store. But, um, you know, Ollie's had a whole bunch of these blind bag kind of things going on. I'm sort of fascinated with blind bags and uh, how many of them are out there and how many are ripoffs. And uh, it started for me with Legos uh, whenever a friend of mine bought me a, a zombie Lego minifigure in a blind bag. And uh, that was a few years ago. And I just think it's cool, these little things. And uh, before I saw this and all these things uh, that I, I just showed you, I saw these little blind bags of these Star Wars fighter pods. And uh, there are these little figures here. And uh, I thought they looked kind of cool. And again, they're dirt cheap and includes two figures, and one is exclusive. And you get the little pod in there as well. Um, and, of course, you know, collect them all. And so, you know, oh, excuse me, so... You know, whenever I, I see something like this and it's cheap, you know, I'll give it a shot. So I, I, I picked up a few here, and uh, so we're going to see exactly uh, what I get here. Um, I don't know, and I, I think... Now, this is Series 1, so the, the other... Can I say Series 3? So Series 3 with my little... Uh, starter pack that I bought here, but I'm, I'm the, whole back, the whole way back to Series 1. With, ooh! Well, Okay, yep, we get a get another pod, so another little thing to try to figure out how to work. But look at this! I got a little Stormtrooper. Oh, cute little guy. And I got another... Now again, I'm not... I'm, the furthest thing probably from a Star Wars geek. Uh, I, I've seen the original three, and then I saw, um, going back to episode one, I saw it and I was really disappointed in it, so I haven't seen any since. So I'm not well versed in Star Wars characters and uh, terminology and all that. But this is what appears to be a, a stormtrooper with some yellow trim, and he also holds a little gun. Um, so he's kind of cool looking. Kind of cool looking. Um, so already I like them better than these first ones that I got that are supposedly hologram figures. Um, so already I'm impressed with uh, these little blind bags here. Um, yeah, that was pretty cool. So let's see what else. I didn't realize that uh, the series were, were different in these, but uh, let's see what I get in uh, this other one. Oh, okay, cool, cool, something different. Uh, a slight variation on one of the little imperial or not imperial uh, whatever they are a little uh, almost a stormtrooper but uh, as sort of a mask like um it's almost, i don't know he's not a desert stormtrooper or maybe a snow i, I don't know oh and look boba fett i know enough to know who this is <laughs> yeah cool cool so a little miniature boba fett um 
So yeah, I'll, I think uh, I think I'm doing pretty good here. I have a couple more to open up. Let me see. I'm expecting duplicates, of course. That is sort of the oh yes, and already there we do. Um, oh no, no, you know what? I got another one of these stormtroopers uh, sort of guys, but he's in a different pose than this first one that I got. Check it out. So I got two of them, and they're doing something slightly different. That's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. All right, all right, that's cool. I thought I had a duplicate there. And, uh, oh, oh, here we go. Another stormtrooper. Now, I'm, I'm just pretty much calling all these guys in black and white stormtroopers. I assume there's some sort of variation. This is a bona fide stormtrooper. And looking back at that first one I showed you, I'm not quite sure that that one was. But here, here's a little, little stormtrooper. So they're little fighter guys in white. That's what they are. Sorry, I don't know my Star Wars uh, as well as probably a lot of you do out there. One more bag to open. And there are a few more of these left at, at Ollie's. Uh, I didn't buy them all because I didn't know what I was getting into and how many duplicates I was getting and everything, and I just get a little cross-section, so I might go back and, and pick up a few more. Well, these both look like duplicates. I got another that guy and another that guy. Uh, I'm sort of bummed I got all sort of these warrior things except for Boba Fett, and actually I really, I really like Boba Fett. He was always one of my favorite characters in uh, the original Star Wars series. And uh, so I'm glad I got them. So yeah, I have a nice little collection here of these Star Wars pods and uh, these fighter pods. And uh, I, now I have series one and series three all mixed together. And I don't even know how to play this game. Put them in the ball, put the ball in this device somehow and you throw them? Do you roll them around? I don't know. There's, there's, there's a little thing on here to spin. I don't know. It's beyond me. But uh, those are pretty cool. Nice nice little find there. Last thing, of course, blind bags. This is, I only found one bag of these, and uh, they look kind of cool. Uh, don't know what to expect here, but uh, here we go. We have, these are, this is a Transformers Creo. Create it. Transformers Creon Micro Changers. I thought this was a ripoff at first, but it's uh, it's actual Transformers. Um, we see the name, we see little the official little symbols on them, and um, yeah, I don't know. It says two in one. Now here's here's a funny thing that I uh, sort of noticed. Two in one. Uh, it shows them sort of transforming two in one, but then I don't know if you can see the little fine print. Product does not convert. Each sold separately. So so does that mean that you have to buy it and hope to get both the robot version and the transformed version? Not quite sure. Six to collect, so there are all six on there, ages six to twelve, so I qualify. Um, so yeah, um, that's about it by Hasbro. Well, yeah, that's, uh, that's good enough. So, yeah, I don't know. Let's uh, Let's see. I don't know. I assume I'll probably have to build this guy somehow and then apparently not transform them. Just apparently hope I can find more of these that uh, have the transform version uh, already. Well, yeah. Here are all the, all the pieces. I guess I get a little, little brochure here. I guess this is who I got. I got Scorponok. Scorponok. Yes, he is sort of a scorpion kind of thing, I, I would guess. Yeah, he transforms into a purple scorpion kind of thing, I guess. That's the beast build. Um, what I got here was definitely the robot. So I'm not sure. Oh, ah, uh, no, no. It doesn't convert, so I guess I build the robot from the pieces, and then I have to take it all apart and rebuild it to build the scorpion. That's what it meant by it doesn't convert, which is why it has robot instructions on that side and beast instructions on that side. So I'll tell you what, I won't bore you with uh, you know sitting down here and, and trying to construct this in front of the camera, so we're going to pause and uh, I'll be right back to show you what it is and I'll try to build it both ways and we'll see what happens. All right, I've constructed the robot version of this guy, and here he is. 
pretty cool. Has this little tail coming out the back. There's pinchers for arms and a whole lot of other weird little things going on. Now these uh, Creo, uh, I'm, I'm learning, is um, generic, one of the generic terms for Lego. Um, so I think we all kind of knew that. These are sort of ripoff of uh, the Lego minifigures, but uh, these appear that they will play nicely with Legos. Um, they're, they're pretty well made, actually. Everything went together pretty well. There, there is some weird fitting issues going on, like we have these little clips that go on the side of his arms here, and they just kind of flop around, not real nicely. Um, and some pieces fit a little snug, some are a little loose, I don't know, but, you know, it, it's pretty cool, a pretty cool little robot. And um, so, yeah, um, interesting thing is we have some extra pieces here um, that make the beast version of this possible. So I'm a little disappointed that they didn't try a little harder <laughs> to use all the pieces for both the robot and the beast version because that only makes sense, doesn't it? That uh, if it's a transformer, it goes from one state to the next in theory. Um, and even though these, you have to take them apart and rebuild them again, you should be able to use all the pieces with one that you use with the other. And this does not. Um, so that's kind of weird. So I guess uh, when I build this in the beast state, that is how I'm going to keep it so that I don't have all these dumb little loose pieces laying around and probably lose them. So uh, I will build the beast, and I'll be back. Um, here's the beast. Uh, I'm really disappointed in the beast. Um, basically, you've bent the robot over, you've uh, flipped a few pieces around, uh, and you've given him this new set of legs right here, which are horrible, because no matter how you do it, oh, it keeps coming apart. Uh, no matter how you do it, there's no way he can stand up. He's all a weird bow leg, bow legged or something. I don't know. Um, what I'm really disappointed with here is that his tail, which keeps falling off, um, because of the way the pieces are built, uh, it 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 can't come together in the way that is in the instructions. Uh, the, it, it just isn't. I tried this three or four times with some different uh, configuration. It, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Um, so this is terrible. And uh, the other disappointing thing about this build as well is it doesn't use the legs. So his legs are left over. So do I build him as a robot that can actually stand and a few little pieces are left over that are going to get lost? Or do I use most of the pieces with the legs left over but with a completely, uh, you know, this doesn't resemble, I mean, it's very loosely resembles a scorpion, but I don't think anyone's going to walk up to this and say, hey, nice scorpion there. Um, no. So uh, I guess I'll build him back into a robot, or I'm going to build him into something. Actually, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to build something using all of the pieces, and we'll see if I can make that work. All right, let's see. Well, it really wasn't all that hard. A good, uh, you know, 30 seconds worth of ingenuity sort of uh, enabled me to <laughs> build something that uh, used all the pieces and makes at least as much sense as the other robot did. You know, this guy, he's actually kind of cooler. I got these whole, you know, these whole things coming out of his back so you don't want to creep up behind him. Still has the whole pincher thing, and here now on his chest he has this sort of purple thing of power. Um, so this is pretty cool, and this is the version that I'm going to display now, um, right alongside all the other uh, rip-off Lego figures and or uh, legitimate Lego figures, which I have one, which is just the, the zombie. But uh, this will this will be sort of my little zombie hunter here. Maybe he'll chase after my zombie. Um, and he's sort of a bastard because he's not real Lego, and my zombie is. So my zombie sort of one-ups him in that regard. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's sort of disappointing. These are rip-offs. Um, not nearly as well made as Legos, but still I've seen a lot worse. So there we go, little Creo Transformers. Hooray!